ETV, or Electric Track Vehicle Transport System, is a new innovation for the quick and effective delivery of a variety of materials throughout the hospital. Put simply, the ETV system is like a miniature railroad, utilizing low-powered electric cars on an aluminum track network. The system is controlled by a microprocessor, which directs and monitors the complete network. It provides route instructions for cars, verifies all send requests, schedules stations off and on, and provides system management information. It knows where cars are at any given moment and prints a record of when and where cars go. The microprocessor control center is located in the boiler room or power plant and can be reached by contacting 8099. The ETV system is easy to load and operate. Items to be sent are placed in a container which is attached to the car. A bumper at each end of the car provides shock absorption when the car arrives at its destination station or encounters any obstacle, including other cars. Cars will stop along the track when making contact with almost any object. When the obstruction is removed, the car will continue. The cars are dispatched from stations located in most areas of the hospital. There are two types of stations used in this system, through stations and reversing stations. A through station is located where usage and heavy traffic are anticipated cars enter and exit in the same direction, thus allowing cars to be received and dispatched simultaneously. The cars are sent in a first-in, first-out pattern. A reversing station is provided at most locations. Cars enter and exit on the single track by reversing car direction, so the last car in will be the first car out. Each station has a control panel consisting of two rotary dials, a digital display, and a send button. Some stations also have a call button. Steady bars indicate your station is presently turned off. Flashing bars indicate the station is receiving a car. From the directory, select the address of the station you are sending to. This will appear as a two-digit code located next to the name of the station. Rotate the dials until the correct digits appear on the digital display. The numbers will increase from 0 to 9, followed by the letters A through F. When the correct code has been chosen, press the green Send button. When the green light illuminates, the request to send has been accepted by the computer. Another car may now be sent. If the station you are sending to is turned off, contact maintenance and have the station turned on. If you are sending a car to a station that has no available parking spaces, the system will make several attempts to deliver the car. The car will circle around in close proximity to the destination station. If the station remains full, the car will be returned to you. Narcotics? Food or blood products should not be transported on this system. The maximum load to be transported should not exceed 20 pounds. Your station directory indicates the number of empty cars assigned to your station. If you exceed your assigned number, send extra cars out by dialing 00 on the rotary dials and pushing the green send button. The computer will direct the car to a station with less than its assigned number of cars. When a car arrives, wait for it to stop. Open the container cover and remove the contents. Be sure to close the container cover, for the car will not move with the container lid open. Not closing the lid can also cause the station to appear full. The cars automatically advance and leave available parking spaces for incoming cars. 
This cannot take place if the cover is left open. Some stations are equipped with a personal call system. This allows areas near the station to be contacted. Their code or directory number can also be found in the directory. Stations with a personal call system have an additional box with three red buttons. This is attached to the operator's panel. The top light illuminates when a car arrives and the contents are intended for the station itself. The button is pushed to confirm that the container has arrived. When the contents are intended for another area, one of the two bottom lights will illuminate. The call system is located on the wall and when activated plays music accompanied by a red flashing button. The music can be cancelled by pushing the button. However, the light will not go out until the contents are picked up and the red button at the station is pushed. The yellow call button is active on selected stations. It enables the user to call for an empty car by pressing the button. The computer will direct an empty car to your station, at which time the yellow light will go out. Each time it extinguishes, additional cars can be called until the station is full. Much of the car's journey is either vertical or upside down. However, liquids can still be transported. A pivoting container and holding lid is used. If the container holding the liquid is large enough, it can sit right in the pivoting container. Test tubes should be held in place by a holding lid. All liquids should be properly sealed and must be accompanied by a requisition. As the car moves, the container remains level. It is very important not to put anything, such as papers, underneath the pivoting container. While it may look safe, the papers may restrict the pivoting action of the container. Send additional papers or information on a separate car. If an accident does occur and liquids do spill, attach a piece of tape marked contaminated to the lid of the container. Send the container to maintenance. This is done by dialing 01 on the rotary dials and pushing the green send button. Now, let's follow a car all the way along its journey. First the container is loaded. The lid is checked to see if it is closed. The appropriate address is chosen and the green send button is pushed. After a few seconds, the car is on its way. As you can see, the car travels vertical and upside down. As it travels, it is switched from one track to another by transfer units. These units are also used by cars to enter and exit stations. The car also travels through special fire doors that would close as a result of a fire.
ETV system is very easy to operate and should serve as a time saver for hospital staff. If any difficulties do result, contact maintenance at 8099.